Don't drink coffee. Sencha green tea. One sugar. You've been paying attention. Relax, Finch. It's just tea. I haven't guessed your favorite color yet. New number. Wallace Nagel. Born in Germany, 1946. Emigrated to the U.S. in 1980. Worked in international export. Good credit, perfect taxes. Wait a minute. Are these dates right? You noticed. Nagel hasn't made a single electronic transaction in his own name since December of 1987. So where has he been for 24 years? And why is he back? I don't think there is a Nagel. Foreign background, boring life, a job involving travel. Spycraft 101. This is an alias. I've used dozens of them. I think Nagel is a cover. So, where do we start? Shortly before he disappeared in 1987, Nagel purchased a cemetery plot in the Bronx. I've checked. It's still there. Why does a person who doesn't exist need a cemetery plot? Right? Might be worth a look. Hmm. Where are you going? If we're dealing with a spy from the 1980s, I know of someone who can provide us with the kind of pre-digital information we need. Things I can't find on computers. All first editions, the best available on German history. The entire span of the Cold War would do it, but specifically the 1980s. And I'll be needing something more precise than books. I'm not sure what you mean. How about the Soviet submarine schematics that you sold back to Russian intelligence last year? You registered that income with IRS, FBI? Be hard to run this store from prison, don't you think? What was the name? Wallace Nagel. Yeah. Before the country reunified, East Germany was the greatest surveillance state the world has seen. The Stasi knew everything. I've read about them. I'm a sucker for surveillance. They had millions of hours of wiretaps, sweat and body odor samples. I just need a name to go with an alias. Real name Ulrich Kohl, part of an espionage team. Oh, I've read about the Stasi teams. Kohl's unit went around the world, in and out of Western Europe and the US. That's why he needed the American papers. The team hunted down East German defectors and neutralized them before they could talk. Neutralized? Where guys like him went, people died. Um, how did you know about the submarine schematics? Told you. I'm a sucker for surveillance. Looks like Cole was in Europe when the wall fell. Western authorities were hunting him, so he ran to hide in the Soviet Union. His wife, Anya, who worked as a secretary at Stasi headquarters, ran with him. But she was killed in a car accident shortly after. That was in 1987. By 89, East Germany has collapsed. The Stasi no longer exists. And Cole is never heard from again.